Hello people, welcome to our YouTube channel Quest Wilderness and more. If you like our contents and want to see our future videos, please subscribe to our channel and also press the notification or bell icon. Please do not forget to like and share our videos as well. This really helps motivate us to create better contents in future. जल जीवन है क्योंकि ये जल ही है जिसके लिए पृथ्वी में जीवन है द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो इज एलिमेंट्स ऑफ वेटलैंड इको सिस्टम्स ऑफ इंडिया इंडिया इज गिफ्टेड विथ मैनी वाटर बॉडीज फ्रॉम लेक्स एंड रिवर्स एंड सीज टू वाटर फॉल्स एंड सो मैनी थिंग्स इवन स्मॉल पॉन्ट्स सो अराउंड ऑल दिस वाटर बॉडीज we have life forms thriving dosto india ek bahut bada desh hai india is world's seventh largest country by land mass india's north is landlocked sharing its borders with pakistan china nepal bangladesh myanmar and bhutan but the majority of india is a peninsula protruding southwards into the indian ocean thus we have two seas formed out of the indian ocean one is the arabian sea on the west and bay of bengal on the east apart from the seas and oceans india is gifted with major river system as well we have major rivers that empty into one of these seas and rivers originate from either the western ghats or the himalayas or some other mountain ranges so uh, so we can clearly see rivers all of them originates from mountain ranges so how rivers get formed and how we get that kind of source of water let's get into details of that. please excuse the quality of these sketches i know i know i it really sucks i made i made them in a child like manner because uh, you know just for one purpose uh, to simplify our understanding of how water bodies get formed you know so uh, so th so imagine this as a mountain range and the valley beneath this is much greener as you can see uh, in this cartoon um, so how do clouds get formed clouds get formed in two ways number 1 either by the hot and humid air rising from the oceans and seas uh, they form the clouds and number 2 is rising hot and humid air from forests thick forests especially especially the tropical forests uh, the they also contribute to formation of clouds right so these clouds come and condense around the mountains and what happens is that the rain water uh, on from top of mountains and in cert, uh, certain cases in high elevations like in the himalayas there is snow and there is ice so so either the rain water or water melting from snow or ice from top of mountains flow downstream to form streams these streams in turn join to form uh, rivulets and these rivulets join to form the rivers the rivers in turn flow downstream and empty into the oceans and seas in india we have uh, as you as we saw earlier the rivers empty either into the arabian sea or or into the bay of bengal right but sometimes this glacial water or the rain water directly that come from uh, clouds they are not able to form free flowing streams or rivulets and gets land trapped thus giving rise to lakes sometimes uh, you know rivers are dammed by human interventions and they could get land trapped to form lakes as well so lake lakes are also another type of water bodies so lakes are land trapped water bodies whereas rivers are free flowing water bodies right so lakes could also get formed by uh, natural phenomenon like earthquake they the, an earthquake could 
uh, have shattering effects on uh, on the landmass and uh, can trap river water and the, the those trapped river waters can form lakes as well by the way did you know uh, how an oxbow lake is formed very interesting there if you know please write down in the comment section the avian fauna that thrives in these ecosystems are diverse as well as unique in India. So the largest uh, group of birds that are part of the avian fauna in the wetland wetland areas of India are the waders or the wading birds. There are birds like the egret and heron family, the storks, the pelicans, all of these collectively are known as the wedding birds. So in this beautiful world of avian fauna coexisting together in wetland ecosystems, you will often find different species of wedding birds often flocking together, building nests together, staying in colonies and, and uh, they even feed together. So why does this happen? It's, it's due to mutual benefits, you know, things like uh, that, you know, symbiosis, we can call it, you know, things th that different species benefit from each other. For example, this is a painted stalk. It's a beautiful uh, bird from the stalk, stalk family. And um, this is how it feeds. It, it steps into shallow waters using its feet it stirs up or you know basically flushes out invertebrates and small fishes and by swaying its down curved beak submerged in semi submerged in water it sways it from one side to another and by doing so it is able to sense its prey and catch it now as i said by doing this it stirs up uh, insects and uh, in other invertebrates and also fishes small fishes especially especially and these are also the prey for birds like egrets and heron so you will often find egrets and herons uh, feeding together with birds like the painted stalk for example this is a gray heron and so as this painted uh, stock flushes out all this uh, invertebrates and fishes it, it, it becomes easier for uh, the uh, gray heron to target its prey so the you know the gray herons have figured out that if it sticks around uh, birds like this uh, like this painted stock it you know it, it it is easier for it to uh, you know find its uh, food right so so because of these kind of uh, reasons you will often find many different species of birds often feeding together you will find purple swampens feeding along with side by side with uh, the ibis and many such examples you will find you know um, they, they peacefully coexist together rather than competing for food, right? Um, they don't heat, hate each other, really. <laughs> they like each other. You will often find uh, the, uh, certain birds also building nests uh, in colonies together. You know, different species of birds building nests next to each other, forming colonies, you know. Uh, again, that's because of safety, uh, safety in numbers you have more eyes to look out for predators, right? Now let's take a quick look at how this ecosystem work. Basically, the water supports plethora of life forms like microorganisms, algae, aquatic plants, and so on that depends on biological oxygen demand of these waters, right? They also contribute to the biological oxygen demand of these waters. Feeding on these organisms, we have invertebrates and fish. So invertebrates like aquatic insects, worms, uh, snails, uh, and also, you know, there are land-dwelling insects that lay eggs in water. 
so their larva are actually aquatic creatures so uh, so these are some of the smaller creatures that are part of this ecosystem now feeding on these small creatures we have fish you know an enormous variety and enormous uh, diversity of fish species exists in this water and we all know by now what uh, who who feeds on the fish and the invertebrates these birds that we were talking about so now that we understand this food chain food uh, you know food chain system can can you tell me who is on top of the food chain who is the apex predator of th this ecosystem keep guessing and please watch the video till the end to know the answer these are some of the pictures of the avian fauna and also other other living beings that we have been taking over the years enjoy This is the mugger crocodile or mugger much or the marsh crocodile. They are the apex predator of these ecosystems. So unfortunate birds that fall into water or, you know, uh, chicks of birds that fall from the nest into the water. They all f are uh, prey for uh, this crocodile species. This crocodile also feed on uh, you know uh, fish as well they also scavenge on dead animals as well so this is the apex predator of this ecosystem hope you liked and enjoyed this video if you like contents like this uh, please like our video share with your friends who may like contents like these and Please subscribe to our channel to get more regular updates uh, on whatever we happen to document, wherever we go. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Thank you very much.